You know when you see the dentist stick box, we're gonna be doing another stuff happens video. <laughs> Um, I haven't moved them out of this box, <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, have a look inside. Where did I put, I, I can't remember where I put the little tag bottle. Where is that gone? Please don't tell me I've lost that. Oh no, here it is, found it, ha, here it is. Alright, I'll move that aside a bit. All right, so you know the dealio with this series. Um, I have uh, little tags, uh, little little things in here that have one, one, two, and three on them, and it tells me how many cards I draw out of this box. So we'll give it a shake, and then we'll see how many cards I'll be mixing into one illustration today. All right. Oh, Jesus. I got three again. Wow. All right. We're drawing three cards out. All right. Here we go. Give them a little bit of a... A little bit of a shake. All right. First card. Actually, what, we'll, what we might do is we might do them like a like a tarot deck. I'll draw out the three cards and then I'll spin them over. <laughs> Turn them over, I should say. All right. Put the box aside. All right, what do we have? have all right let's turn this one okay so we have roller skate into a manhole <laughs> okay as you can see the misery index is pretty high so that's a pretty bad card um all right next one is good by a bull <laughs> As you can see, it's a pretty high misery index as well. So, what the hell? Okay, now third card. You lose your laptop. It's 40, 47, so it's about mid-range misery index. So, hmm. Okay, we'll take some elements of all three of these and let's come up with a completely ridiculous story like I did last time with, uh, you know, that includes these three cards. So for this illustration today, I am using my El Rado Di Piallo. Uh, I think this one is, uh, what was this one again? Cold press? Watercolor pad. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, um, I ended up cutting this bit to a square because if you don't already know, I like to work in a, like a square frame. Now, I don't use this a lot um, because some of the things that I do make um, and, and do draw sort of require something a little bit sort of elongated, but I love drawing in a square bit of paper. I d it is probably one of my favorite, um, you know, shaped papers to draw on. And that's why I do do it from time to time. And that's why I always get books that I, um, that are square. I like, I like having square uh, sketchbooks and using square paper. So I have started to buy a three size paper now so I can cut that to the size that I want in a square. Uh, I also don't mind the, um, what's my favorite paper called again? Strathmore. The uh, Strathmore paper that I do get is, it's not a full A4 size, it's a, like a, it's been shortened and it's more of a, like a, it's still a rectangle but it's not a very intense sort of rectangle. So yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if that, any of that sentence made sense. I have not been making sense a lot lately when I've been doing these voiceovers and I have no idea why. But anyway, we shall 
try and move on <laughs> with my my words and my brain sort of like functioning on only like one cylinder I swear to god when it's like a so like if my brain was a v6 engine it's only f like firing on two like two cylinders instead of six cylinders anyway so as you know i got these weird ass card prompts um being gored by a bull roller skating into a manhole and losing lose your laptop and when i sort of went away and thought about this i was like what like this is just some weird shit. What am I gonna make with this? And when I sort of sat down and thought about it, and I'm like looking at each card and I'm sort of trying to come up with a scenario in my head. And then I came up with this scenario of like, wouldn't it be funny if like there's this like sewer and there is like this mutated bull down there and he's he wasn't doing anything he was just minding his own business and you know next minute here comes like some guy just falling down the manhole being like you know skewered on his horn and he's lost his laptop which is like skewered on the other horn and he's like you know that's how it went down so that's the scenario I came up with. So the proper full story is this young fella, he's on his skates. He's skating down the road, not watching where he's going because he's got a laptop in his hand because millennial. And he is, uh, he, he's just going along and he's on Facebook. He has decided that he's going to skate and he's going to be on Facebook and not watch where he's going. Now, there's a manhole that has no cover on it, and there is some signage around it basically pointing now saying manhole. Uh, there's one up a little bit further, which is, I didn't draw in the picture, to say, you know, caution, manhole. So he's just going along on his Facebook, not watching what he's doing. Don't ask me why he has a laptop while he's skating when he could just be on his phone. But, you know, for the principle of this task and these, um, what do you call it, prompts, cards that came out for the prompts that's what we're doing all right <laughs> anyway so he's looking at that he hits a bump on his skates and his laptop jumps out of his hand and basically falls down the man the manhole the laptop's gone down the manhole so he freaks out because he's like oh my god I was just in the middle of a conversation on, on Facebook how you know I can't live without my laptop you know because once again millennial and uh he his he's just gone down he's decided oh well i'm gonna go down i'm gonna get my laptop because you know i want my laptop so he's had a look down there and he's gone okay so he's still in his skates he's tried to climb down the ladder but what he has done is then like fallen like he's he's gotten caught up and he's lost his balance and he's fallen down and he has impaled himself on the other bull horn because the laptop is being impaled on the other horn and he's trying to reach out for his laptop it's still on facebook and he's like oh my god i've been impaled but i need to reply to my friend you know like it's all about you know social media and and shit so <laughs> yeah and the bull is just there like going what's happened like he's just looking there going okay this you know what is going on this is this is this is what you know he he's he's pretty cool calm and collective but he's sort of wondering what the hell's just going on why has he got some dude with skates on kicking and screaming but it's trying to get to his laptop which is on the other horn so yeah that's my story <laughs> uh yeah so that that is the scenario that came into my brain when I sort of really sat down and thought about it. And um, yeah, this is what I came up with, with these prompts that, you know, that I drew out of the box. So hopefully you guys think I did all right with what I had to work with. <laughs> 
Uh, I thought I, I, I thought I didn't do too bad to be completely honest with you because this one was a bit of a doozy and I, and like I have been really enjoying doing these prompts that are a little bit left wing because they are kind of like outside of like the general like box of what someone would usually use as a prompt and that's why I think this is like this is a pretty cool series and uh, yeah, oh, it, there's so many cards in this series, so this series is going to go on for a while, and it's just going to be, uh, I can just envision the weird shit that is going to be happening with this card, cards in the future, so, yeah, that, this, this was really fun to draw as well. It did take me a little bit to draw because I had the general sketch layout in my sketchbook, but I kind of didn't really know exactly how I was going to do it all. I had a few, I had about three or four versions of the bull and then um, yeah, there was a couple of versions of the guy and um, yeah, it's sort of, I sort of just sat down and just went for it. And Basically, what you see is none of the sketches I've got in my book. Is this a sort of like a completely different one? But I am definitely happy with the the bull that came out in this one. So yeah, this one was super fun, especially doing the rusted old, you know, gross background in the sewer. And uh, I was sort of not sure whether or not to um, have like sludge. Uh, in the sewer or sort of wanted to break it down a little bit with some pop of colors so I ended up going with like the sewage being like this like bright green sort of like radioactive uh, nuclear sort of vibe and like I gave the guy like some red skate wheels because my mum actually had a pair of skates back in the day and they were the same color they were white with red wheels so I thought well that's where I got that idea from and then I gave him like this light blue shirt to sort of bring some more color into it because it was very um, brown and gray and sort of like some really muted colors um, as much as I love working with them there's certain sort of scenarios that need a pop of color and this one did because this is kind of like a funny sort of uh, illustration. And when I do sort of funnier illustrations, I like to give more of a pop of color to sort of signify like a bit more of a lighthearted sort of feel to it. And that's what I went with with this one. Now, I don't know if you guys want to participate in this series as well. Um, I don't even know if I've got a hashtag for this, but uh, I'll have to go and check. Um, just to make sure because I really can't remember like this being only the third video I just sort of really can't remember I'll have to go back and have a look to, in the descriptions to see if I do but if uh, if I don't I'll make one and I'll have a hashtag um, in the comments section below um, uh, sorry in the description below <laughs> I should say uh, and just uh, if you want to come up with your own sort of illustrations for these cards and these prompts that come out, I would love to see some weird shit because <laughs> this, these, these prompts are just, they're probably the weirdest ones out there that I do, I'm doing with the series because they're just, um, as you know, it's the stuff happens game. It is like scenarios in life that are like ranked from like one to a hundred hundred being like the worst case thing that could have like happen to you and like you know the obviously towards like one it will be like the least thing like that worrying thing that could happen to you so it's like a misery index rating from one to a hundred and uh yeah it's it's all about like they they did a test on people and what would be like the most scenarios that would cause like the most grief and depression and anxiety and that's what this this what this card game is um you know develop, developed from is from that so it's it's such an interesting game and me and my partner like i said in the first video we played it once because i bought it from uh, i can't remember where i bought it from now big w or something like that um we played it once and 
uh, my partner Rick didn't like it. He was like, oh, this is pretty shit. Like, this is a shit game. I don't want to play it. So that's when I thought, oh, well, I'll turn it into a series because I was looking at the cards and I thought, oh, bugger, this is, this is cool. Uh, prompts and stuff so uh, like they'd be good for prompts weird as hell but you know surely I can sort of bend my brain a bit to sort of come up with some weird things and yeah it's sort of worked really well for that and um, I do have a few card games like that up there like I have um, the cards against humanity Uh, I was even thinking about turning that into a series but I don't know with that one. I think that one might be a little tricky, but it would be pretty funny. Like, that would be quite funny, sort of drawing the scenarios that you do get. Um, But, yeah, they're they're, uh, a little bit tricky, I I think. So, yeah, anyway, I have some some peel porn coming up for all you people who like peel porn because I have been really enjoying doing the borders at the moment. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed looking at this one and, and uh, this hilarious scenario. So I am out of here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.